Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's good to be back with you today. And I want to speak to you today on the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms is a wonderful collection of songs and prayers and poetry. They were written on leather scrolls. Psalms was a collection of 150 songs, prayers, and sacred poems that the Jews used in worship all throughout their worship. The book of Psalms is a praise book. Everywhere you go in that book, it's filled with praises of God by different people and different authors. But also you will find that there are many complaints throughout the book of Psalms. Nearly half of the Psalms is filled with complaints. Songs of prayer are filled with grief and disappointments. They are filled with urgent pleas for help. Even though some of the Psalms are melancholy, most of the writers concluded by expressing their trust in Almighty God that God would bring them through and God would bring them out. Jesus recited or sang, or Jews, Jews rather, recited or sang some of these psalms at home and at the temple. Psalms 23 was one of the most sacred chapters in the entire psalms. I've conducted a lot of funerals over the years and been to a lot of funerals. And Psalms 23 is read and heard in more funerals probably than any other passages of Scripture that's found in the Bible because it has a great inspiration and blessing to the people that listen to it. God is open to what we say to Him. He is open to our cries and even our complaints. We can talk to God. We can pray to God any way we want. We can talk any way we want, talking in the Spirit. But you know, when we get ourselves in a, a, a bad attitude and complain all the time, that's not a good thing at all to do. We need to get to where the Lord can help us and help us in the desperate cries of our heart. Regardless of your situation, whether you're happy, discouraged, or depressed, God listens to your cry and listens to your call. You know, it does uh, say in the Bible that God doesn't listen to the prayers of the unrighteous, but He also does people call upon God who are lost and He saves us. So He does hear our prayers even when we are lost and we need to get saved. If you're not saved today, that would be a good thing to do is ask Jesus to come into your heart and give you happiness and joy like you've never felt before. The author, half of the Psalms are written and attributed to the great David, the great Goliath, a man who triumphantly won over the champion Goliath, and that's a wonderful, wonderful story in the Bible, but that's not the only thing that David did. He's filled with many things in the Bible. Some of the Psalms are attributed to David, can mean it's by David or about David, or even inspired by David. David was a great singer, he was a great harp player, he was a great musician, and you know it would be great to be able to hear him sing. I know he had such talent, and it's reflected all through of many of the songs that he wrote. A lot of these songs, it's hard to rhyme with them because they weren't really built to where they would rhyme. Old Hebrew type of language wasn't meant to rhyme, but they're wonderful statements, and thank God for the book of Psalms. Other psalms can be attributed to Solomon and Moses, and uh, also music leaders, Korah and Asaph, were, were great leaders of music, and many of the psalms can be attributed to their leadership and music ability. Some of the psalms are not even attributed to anyone whatsoever, but I'm telling you, regardless of they span many centuries, and uh, Many, many thousands of years, a collection of those books have made the Psalms a great book. It's amazing how God has allowed that book to stay in effect by the collection of many writings that cover a thousand, a thousand years or so. And thank God for that, that it's been preserved through the years. Survival of these Psalms is a tribute to their inspired writers and to the God that inspired them. God gave those poets the gift of expressing words. And I want to thank God today that He has given us a wonderful book of Psalms. And I hope it's been a blessing to you today. Every time you study that, think about some of these things I've said to you today. This is Raymond Mayfield. I'll talk to you again real soon.